The C-SPAN networks bring you long-form public affairs programming from the nation's capital and are a public service of your television provider. C-SPAN, created by cable. I will now recognize the gentleman from Pennsylvania, Mr. Cartwright, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Governor Snyder, I'd, I'd like to ask you some simple questions, uh, and I remind you that you are under oath today. First, I think you said this in your testimony, but you do admit here today before this committee that you and your administration failed the people of Flint. Um, I've made that clear in terms of my State of the State address where and I your said... Your own task force found that your Department of Environmental Quality was, quote, primarily responsible for the crisis in Flint. Do you also admit that here today? Yes, and I took actions immediately based on their recommendations. Your task force found that your officials at MDEQ did not implement corrosion control which, quote, led directly to the contamination of the Flint water system. Do you admit that here today? Um, the lack of corrosion controls led to this issue. And you admit that it was your officials at MDEQ that did not Im implement corrosion control, which led to that, right? Uh, they did not instruct the F city of Flint to do corrosion controls. Is that a yes? Again, they wouldn't be doing the corrosion controls. That's a city responsibility. But they failed in what I deem would have been common sense to say they should have. Governor Snyder, do you admit that you personally received a letter on January 18, 2015, from Flint's mayor begging you to take action and warning, quote, there is nothing more important in Flint right now than fixing the water problems on January 18, 2015? Do you admit receiving that letter? I received a letter from the mayor dated that, and I took action on items within that letter. I'm asking you about January 18, 2015. This is Exhibit D you, we've marked Yeah, can you, you share the letter with me so I could confirm that? Would you hand him the letter, please? It's marked as Exhibit D. We'll ask that this be made part of the record, Mr. Chairman. Without objection, so ordered. Jan January 18, 2015, from Dwayne Walling, the mayor, Last paragraph on the second page, it's directed to you specifically, and he says, there is nothing more important in Flint right now than fixing the water problems. Do you see that? I do. Did you admit getting that letter? Yes. All right. The mayor asked you repeatedly to come to Flint during the crisis. Do you admit today you didn't show up for more than seven months after he asked you? Um, actually, I'm not familiar. I'd have to check my schedule. Well, that's what he says. You didn't go to Flint until October 2015. Is that right? I don't know if that's correct or not. You don't know. You admit here today to seeing headline after headline about health problems, hair loss, rashes, E. coli, bacteria, sewage, Legionnaire's disease. Did you read any of those stories, Governor Schneider? Congressman, I read a number of those stories. What I would tell you is, those stories, we would follow up on them and continue to get reaffirmation from career bureaucrats that the water was safe. That was wrong. Do you that admit here today that more cases of Legionnaire's disease were reported since the switch to Flint River than, quote, all the cases in the last five years or more combined? Do you admit that? Yes, and that's why I provided a table that you, shows you a do. number of these cases were at health care facilities. In terms of the numbers, there were 87 cases you in the two-year You admit here period. today that even after the whole world knew that Flint I residents were exposed to unimaginable levels of lead, you did not declare a state of emergency until January 2016. Isn't that true? I took immediate action. As soon as I learned there was a lead issue, we started issuing filters to people, doing water testing, doing blood testing. Governor and to be open Snyder, with you, I wish more would have been done. Plausible deniability only works when it's plausible. And I'm not buying that you didn't know about any of this until October 2015. You were not in a medically induced coma for a year. And I've had about enough of your false contrition and your phony apologies. Susan Hedman from the EPA bears not one-tenth of the responsibility of the state of Michigan and your administration, and she resigned. And there you are, dripping with guilt, but drawing your paycheck, hiring lawyers at the expense of the people, and doing your dead-level best to spread accountability to others and not being accountable. It's not appropriate. Pretty soon, we will have men who strike their wives saying, I'm sorry, dear, but there were failures at all levels. 
people who put dollars over the fundamental safety of the people do not belong in government. And you need to resign too, Governor Schneider. I yield back. Gentleman yields back.